Hello, it is another beautiful time on TSA and today we are discussing what we call shortage of blood in pregnancy or anemia. For the few years working on the field as a midwife, I can evidently say that about 45% of all pregnancies coming to the antenatal clinic are diagnosed with anemia or shortage of blood. This is because it is normal for a woman to have mild anemia in pregnancy. But you may as well have a more severe anemia from either low iron level, vitamins level, folate level, or from other sources like malaria, worm infestation, and also abnormal conditions of the red blood cell. But today our focus is going to be on the low folate level and iron level. Iron deficiency anemia. So iron deficiency anemia simply means insufficient iron to produce adequate hemoglobin. Hemoglobins are the protein parts of the red blood cells and we know they carry oxygen from the lungs to every part of the body. And so low iron means that low hemoglobin level and consequently is going to affect the level of oxygen also in the blood. This basically causes easy fatigability in pregnant women and so when you have low levels of hemoglobin you are going to experience fatigue a lot so what causes iron deficiency anemia so we, we can talk about low intake and then low absorption and then also diarrhea and vomiting let me explain it briefly so low intake you are not taking in enough iron in your diet also the body is not able to absorb the iron in, the, in your diet very well diarrhea and vomiting so for instance you take in your normal food but then you bring it out definitely the body will not be able to absorb the iron in the diet then we can also talk about demand excess demand for instance in twin gestation and then triplets so when you are pregnant with twins or with triplets that means that the demand is high so the woman is, is, is supposed to actually meet the demand if she's not able to meet the demand then obviously it's going to result in anemia we can also talk about chronic diseases or infection, particularly of the urinary tract. We can also talk about bleeding, like bleeding hemorrhoids and then antipartum hemorrhage or postpartum hemorrhage. Simply bleeding before birth and then bleeding after birth. These are some of the things that can actually cause iron deficiency anemia. So what do you do to prevent iron deficiency anemia? So you can take food rich in iron so what are some of the food rich in iron? Whole grains and meat, all kinds of meat. Take them in order to increase your iron levels in the blood. Then you can also take foods rich in vitamin C. Common amongst them is strawberry, lime, lemon, fruit juice, fresh fruits, and the others. Then also take your iron tablet regularly in order to increase your iron levels in the blood. Also note that um, iron is inhibited by tea and coffee. Simply means that when you're taking a lot of tea and then coffee, it's going to inhibit, as in cut the iron absorption in the blood. And so taking a lot of vitamin C, that will help absorb the iron and then stop or reduce the intake of coffee and tea. Folate deficiency anemia. What is it? Simply low folate in the blood. Folates are vitamins found naturally in certain foods like green leafy vegetables. During pregnancy, women need extra folates because this is a time new cells are going to be produced like in red blood cell production. And so women are encouraged to actually have more folates in their blood. Also, artificial folate supplements are found in folic acid. And so women are actually given folic acid to be taken daily in order to also help increase their folate levels in the blood. What causes folate deficiency anemia? One, reduced intake or absorption or a combination of the two. That means that you're not taking enough folate or the body is not able to absorb the folate very well or the two together. Two, some conditions of the blood where red blood cells are destroyed faster than they can be produced, there's going to be a high demand for folate or for the production of red blood cells and consequently for folate or folic acid. So the woman is encouraged to actually take more folate or folic acid. Also, 
excess demand, for example, multiple pregnancies. So when you're pregnant with twins or triplets, obviously there's going to be an increased demand for folate. Then lastly, we can also talk about some drugs interfering with the absorption of the folate, like anticonvulsants and also alcohol. So you are not advised to take alcohol and then reduce the intake of some anticonvulsants when you are pregnant. So now what do you do to prevent folate deficiency anemia? What you can basically do is to eat food or diet rich in folate. For example, that's what the green leafy vegetables like on turmeric, turkey berries, spinach, and the likes. These are very rich in folate. We encourage our pregnant women to be taking them. Also take your iron tablet or supplement regularly, like daily, in order to increase your folate level. Some fruits like banana and avocado are also rich in folate. And so take them and then make sure that your folate level is actually high in the blood. In conclusion, low hemoglobin levels, and for that matter, anemia, it's likely to affect maternal system to transfer enough oxygen and nutrients to the developing fetus, consequently leading to adverse outcomes in pregnancy, like low birth weights in the baby. For example, weights below 2.0 kilograms and also premature delivery, that is delivering your baby before the nine month period. It can also cause postpartum hemorrhage, that is bleeding after delivery and also death. These are the very things we do not want to experience in the pregnancy. And so pregnant women are encouraged to eat foods rich in iron and folate in order for them to stay healthy because these are the most common anemias we have on the world or we have with women experiencing anemia. Thanks for watching and I know you have learned something new today. If you are watching and you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so so that you can share you can always share like and comment when it is uploaded or when new episodes are uploaded i really appreciate your time and then your feedbacks and everything thank you and we'll meet again in my next episode on that note as a bye